We were blessed with about 20 pounds of beef fat that a butcher gave to us. And this is good grass-fed stuff. And so we're gonna render it down into beef tallow, which is a fantastic cooking oil. And particularly when you've got stuff that is coming from grass-fed, when you've got grass-fed fat, it's very high in minerals and vitamins, and it doesn't have all the antibiotics and freaky stuff that might normally be in beef fat. So let's render it into tallow. Ready? Let's go. The first thing we want to do is cut the fat into small pieces and then we'll put it in a large pot with some water, um, just basically enough to cover the bottom of the pot and then we'll turn it on pretty low, low, medium, low and you just, you want this to be a very slow process. You don't want to end up with brown bits of fat. You want it to, to just heat up and release all the fat into the pot. And the water is just there to keep it from, from scorching at the bottom. We're going to use a really large pot on the stove for this. You can do this in the crock pot. We've had really good success doing that. You can also do it in the oven. We've done that, but I honestly can't remember the uh, temperature that we did that at, but it worked well. It just The downside of that is it heats up the whole house because it's the oven. Crock pot doesn't heat up the whole house. That's probably the method that heats up the house the least, but it also takes a little bit longer, but it also means you don't have to watch it. You don't have to stir it. You just turn it on and let it go. So that may be the most hands-off, easiest method. But it also, I guess the downside to that is you can only do as much fat as your crock pot will hold. Uh, today we're just going to do it on the stove and we'll show you how we do that. that fat has been cut up and now it's time to actually put it on and get it going. Now we're going to pour some water in it so that the fat doesn't scorch on the bottom. Now all this extra over here, this is gonna be uh, puppy food. We recently got a new puppy. I've named him Coronary. According to union rules, we get a mandatory coffee break. So we figured we'd sit out here and uh, enjoy the monsoon. We'll get back to the fat in a moment. Just wait a minute. Be patient. It'll take all day anyway. Really hot. Yeah. <laughs> wait another five minutes to pull up. It's only been maybe 10 or 15 minutes, so see how it looks already. You can see I, I'm keeping it at sort of a, a simmer, but look at, I didn't pour that much water into it, so obviously this is the fat rendering out. Pretty neat, huh? You can see how the pieces that have already started to cook have turned sort of a yellowish color, whereas the pieces that were at the top are still raw looking. Okay, at least a good portion of this is ready to be strained out. So we're going to do that. When I said it would take all day, I was serious. But it's okay. I mean, 
It didn't take much effort. And what we get is free, almost free, except for the time we put into it, cooking oil. So it's later in the day and uh, it's ready to be poured into jars. That's all you have to do. Get some fat, chop it up into little bits, put it in a big pot, add a little bit of water, cook it down on low all day, and you've rendered yourself some really great cooking oil. Be sure to like and subscribe and visit us on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. And until next time, keep rendering. Be sure to like and subscribe and visit. <laughs> I know you it again. Could I remember everything I was supposed to say? Be sure to. Uh, no, until next time. I forget.